Oh my god. We have Transformers versus Marvel. The destroyer of worlds. Both sides. Now, I ain't that big on Transformers, I ain't gonna lie. But I'm big on Marvel. I'm rocking with Galactus. Gotta rock with the guys. I've heard, I've only watched the Transformers movies, though. I was never the cartoon person. I heard Unicorn is crazy, though. Boomstick, what is the nature of evil? Oh, it's three and a half beers too early for that kind that of is cool. is, No, seriously, is the wolf that hunts the hare evil? What about the bear that kills the wolf? Or the man that slays that the bear? That bear, bear, bear. Is that evil or nature? Perhaps Yo, he boxing it, man. I could lie. Cause mind as he hurtled toward the end of infinity. I'm pretty sure the question on his mind was, how do I turn this goddamn spaceship around? Eons ago, the planet Ta was a paradise, the most advanced civilization the universe had ever known. Who are we learning about the right now? The universe was coming to an end. I hate it when that happens. The Ta and scientist Gallen watched as the rest of his race ignominiously perished and decided to die gloriously on his own terms. By flying a ship into the sun, just like great grandpappy Boomstick, the crazy old coot. But instead of being vaporized on contact like great grandpappy Boomstick, Gallen got, got turned into what? Radioactive god. As oh yeah, this is definitely the like this. Thing left before the universe. I never knew his. I never Gallen knew his. his what's by the called? sentience of the multiverse, who murdered with him as part of a cosmic cycle of death and rebirth as the old multiverse died a new one was born and the scientist gallon was no more in his place was a being of untold power the whoa of galaxies galactus i never knew that was this shit looking like a masochist giant 289 nigga, this nigga's 28 feet in yo galactus yo galactus you out here destroying worlds, and we can get you the craziest NBA contract of all time. Let's just, let's keep it above. We can get you the craziest NBA contract of all time. Thirty-six thousand, yo, fam. The Lakers need you, my guy. What are you doing? Vibrator, G Dog here is one of the strongest. Beyond good and evil. How the fuck are you beyond There's good and evil? One thing he wants to do: eat friggin' worlds. Galactus is so unbelievably. He's not a celestial, right? Strong doesn't really begin to describe him. Just being. Harold of what? Franklin Richards. Yo, fan, 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 fan. Why is everybody like Richards in Marvel? doesn't really begin to describe what is it what's up with the richest man near him will begin to warp your perception huh? of reality in truth he isn't even really a physical being with a soul anymore but composed of energy itself the power cosmic basically your all-purpose space feeding absorbs life energy to stay alive has consumed planet stars energy attacks dark matter dark matter is crazy power cosmic godlike strength energy projection transmutation telekinesis force fields see I know of Galactus, and I'm big on Galactus, but they don't explain shit like this. Teleportation, portal creation, cosmic awareness, levitation, resurrection, soul manipulation. That no good almighty ass whooping god can go without. Sure, he can use it to blast your ass to unholy smithereens, Bam. but it's a lot more flexible, too. Described as being in touch with every other living thing at once, the power cosmic allows one access to a near infinite pool of knowledge and the ability to sense danger ahead of time. I don't think there's a lot for him to be afraid of. He can manipulate Doesn't seem like it. read and control. Cosmic allows him fundamental control over life itself. Self, manipulating souls, creating new life forms from nothing, and even resurrecting the what dead. is wrong with and Silver because Surf? his body is composed of energy, he can't really be hurt in the traditional. I was gonna say, yeah, he can't be touched. This physically, allows right? him to grow or shrink his body with seemingly no limit and alter his appearance. Oh, wait, 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 he chooses to look like that. His physical appearance matches the species. Hey, he do look menacing, I ain't gonna lie. He's observing him, so a human sees a human Galactus, a scroll, a scroll Galactus, and so on. Oh, so it's just like how I see the world. What are you staring at? <laughs> what matters <laughs> most to me in the world? So how are awesome. we? No, not huh? awesome. Very not awesome. At least as far as Galactus is concerned, since witnessing his approach is itself. So the that's end why of Fantastic Four did the little black cloud shit. So, because technically he's not that big being. But Marvel Comics, okay, I guess I can get it. It's still is stupid because we've all seen him as that little purple. In the world. You Sorry, only Senator. have enough time to pray to your paltry gods before Galactus consumed your entire planet. Because Fantastic Four did him crazy. Himself, then moving on to his the movie. Meal. It was man, so terrible. I guess his costume is appropriate because he sounds like a total dick. Like, come on, man. Hey, 
the size of a solar system, Galactus is home. His home is a solar system? Armor, unknown material, regulates energy. Elemental converter, converts matter into energy. He helps with consuming planets, punishes robotic servants. The ultimate nullifier, wipe any target from existence from its own weird to the multiverse. Yo, fam. What type of battle is this gonna be? Man, you watched your whole planet die. Now you're gonna go around the universe doing that. I think I'm sure the universe by you. It's not entirely his fault. Galactus's power is so immense that the only thing that can sustain him is the consumption. Which I got on the over under of planets being destroyed. I'm saying at least five. I'm going, we're gonna let the set in line at five. I'm going over between these two. Since the they're, we're gonna go five. They're gonna regenerate energy. I'm feeding, guessing. He would perish. I'm going five. If we don't see any, that's crazy. Plants or other animals. It's like, it's like go, Steph does the night hit. No feet. Hate each and every one of them. No, no, categorically. It would be like that. Opposite, actually. Squirrel Galactus. girl's the most demon girl like person in Marvel. Let's keep it a book. She beat Thanos. Demon girl. Isn't vengeful or cruel. Where's the if squirrel girl movie? The unnecessary death, he would we would rather that than Captain Marvel. Bound by the laws of physics, Galactus is bound by his hunger. And that hunger has put him in conflict with some of Marvel's other heaviest hitters, like Odin and the Phoenix Force. Phoenix Force. Force. Oh my fight Lord. with the other and the Scryer got so intense, they threatened the entire infinite multiverse just as a Yo, the of the battle. Different. While Galactus himself can comfortably cross countless light years in seconds, Living Tribunal are more like abstract concepts than actual living things, many of which operate outside of linear time. Like this alien bug dude who tried to use Galactus's energy to destroy huh? two whole universes. Even after being drained by him, he still nuked three whole star systems what the before fuck? getting a snack. Should he somehow be threatened by beings beyond even the scope of his power, Galactus crafted a device to solve huh? all of Feet. One attack destroyed three star systems, consumed a 4D space-time continuum. He one shot at Dark Side. Must have been a crossover. Used as a bomb to destroy the Black Winter. Survived Nega Bomb explosion. His nature transcends death and eternity. So he wins. Because he can't die. And it, he transcends death and eternity. He defeated Dormammu. Yo. The fucking ruler of the Dark Dimension? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Isn't Dora Marmu the Dark Dimension nullifier. Ruler? In case that name isn't obvious enough, it's a teeny tiny weapon that destroys anyone you think of. It doesn't huh? just destroy them, it destroys everything. Like a death everything. note? The entire whoa, whoa. is eradicated, then recreated without the target. An extremely oh. roundabout way of that's winning, but great. it works. That's exactly what happened when Galactus used it on the abstract god of destruction, Abraxas. He destroyed the god of destroying things with a Happy Meal toy. It's like my Yo. <laughs> great things come in small packages. And the nullifier was key to Galactus's first great yeah, defeat do. upon his inevitable yes, arrival on Earth. they do. Earth. She also said that. When that pesky Reed Richards managed to get his stretchy hands on the thing, Galactus finally backed down and spared the planet. Which makes no practical sense. The ultimate nullifier is a part of Galactus himself. It uses his own power. He can summon it at any time and even escape. It's he said he was just toying with me. He didn't really want to destroy it. Safety on. Maybe he was just bored. After billions of years of cosmic genocide, just what a rider was bored. I'm pretty sure Galen forgot what it meant to be mortal. Perhaps that was the true evil all along: the slow death of Galen's humanity. Because what could be more terrifying than a being that sees everything and everyone you know and love as it's nothing more than inferior. his next meal? The greatest much of all time. Death battle is sponsored by. I'm thinking about hey. Hey. In the beginning, what we got before Unicron. Earth, before light and dark, there was Unicron, Unicron, created by the formless primordial being known as the One to explore the fledgling multiverse. I have Unicron no transformer. I know nothing about transformers. Decided to like, consume outside of everything. Dude, come on! Bad Unicron! Bad God! Bad! The One decided to split Unicron into two beings. Huh? One of order and hope known as Primus, and the other of chaos and evil known as Unicron. Again! Like all good sibling so rivalry, Primus they is, pushed is that where the primes come from? Eight, fourteen billion. I don't even know how, I don't know how kilometers. I'm American, I don't know how that works. 
each other shit in over Brother the fate of all existence. That is, until the goody Astro little two-shoes Black Primus Black tricked his bro into imprisoning their souls in giant asteroids. Classic sibling what? prank. For me, it was the dryer. Primus terraformed his asteroid into what would later be known as the planet Cybertron. Well, you sure, I know did something different. Yeah, he turned his planet into a planet that eats other <gasps> planets. Oh, that's There's from the movie when it was, I remember that, this. It can change its form into a giant badass robot Satan. He's huh? literally the first Transformer. And with this new body, Unicron would travel the cosmos, consuming planet after planet and universe after universe. Not necessarily because of any hunger or need. It's because he wanted Unicron to. Unicron is the physical embodiment of death and destruction. What he the is fuck? Literally programmed Hold to up. A name like that is super hard. I ain't gonna lie. Physical embodiment of death and destruction. He does it because he wants to. That's kind of kind of. Fight everything. God's gotta count. do what a god's gotta do. And good luck trying to fight back. Unique robot count. body comes with a tractor beam, eye lasers, fire breath, a chest cannon, and huh? an antibody system in case anyone tries to But none to of this is going to rock with Galactus, though. Like, what is this going to do to him? Spark transformation cog matter manipulation. Mm, but matter manipulation to a god that uses dark matter not kind of the same absorption regeneration that's cool i guess time space manipulation that's cool i guess dimension travel time travel teleportation okay these we're starting to get od stuff plasma breath none of that other stuff under is kind of like tough because i mean can mentally you can't physically it. really hurt telepathy may work on galactus resistance is sure because I, I think can't professor x has professor x used What's the call of him? I don't know. Dark energon, mind manipulation, corruption, resurrection. Resurrection is big. Antibody system, porting mist attack. Some of these don't matter because you're fighting a life. Race of beings, erase nope. things from existence, warp the fabric of space and time. Whoa. And manipulate matter okay, now we're starting to get into the truth. So even if his big robot body is damaged or destroyed, he can repair it like he split or even send his spark out to find a new host. Essentially the Transformers version of a Oh, well, he can destroy it. spark is immensely powerful and produces its own energy source, Dark Energon. Unicron is so evil that he, he creates his own energy. His bad dude energy into weapons of mass destruction, like unholy blades or planet busting lasers. This dark energon will corrupt any that consumes it, turning them into a puppet of Whoa. Unicron himself. It's also okay, we may gotta fight. I ain't gonna regular energon, which is created by Primus and what fuels the Transformer race. So Unicron basically runs on the opposite of life. Of what? He's death as a big robot. Can he even be killed? Not by any conventional means. Even the destruction of his spark isn't guaranteed to end him. He will continue to exist as a necessary force that drives the cosmos. Anytime he's destroyed, he will appear again in a new universe. In fact, almost every Unicron you've seen in movies, TV, and comics are the same Unicron. Huh? Unicron is a literal force of nature. You can't reason with a hurricane that hates Okay, so now we're getting into maybe Galactus is losing, but Galactus may eat universe. Any universe he's in, so uh, I don't know. Do is see it. Is that better do draws? Way, but this hurricane is never gonna stop until you and everyone you know is D E D dead. His mere presence drove an entire planet insane. I was trying to be poetic oh, before, but uh, this, this is what evil is. Incomprehensible, undeniable, inescapable. You can't How do the Transformers out. fight? He is unbound by the concept of linear time. The Chaos Bringer is so powerful, his mere presence wrecks the space-time continuum and generates galaxies from existence just by falling by. clear, it nah, isn't the force he's generating by moving that destroys things. It's his existence. Present. His mere being but, is so overwhelmingly evil that the fabric of space time cannot fathom Unicron's presence. Holy Whoa, God. what no the wonder fuck he was are able we to devour nearly a quarter of the entire this is multiverse. Crazy. One universe at a time. Estimates for the size of the Transformers multiverse vary from over 15 quadrillion. Ma this matters. I don't even think he gave us the Marvel Universe. Uh, I think the Marvel Universe acts in our universe, so. This universes to an infinite number of universes, branching timelines, and planes of existence. And who better to portray a being who brings death to the universe than the man who gave birth to modern cinema? A final role fitting for an art huh? so much larger than life. 
or deeply ironic that it's a feature-length toy commercial. Yeah, the Transformers movie has always been celebrated for its excellence. I say. Despite that unbelievable power, the Chaos Bringer's almighty rampage through reality has been halted a number of times, usually due How? to the matrix of leadership, the essence of Primus himself, and the embodiment of all hope and light in the universe. Are you telling me that Robo Satan was defeated by the power hope? of friendship for Facts. Kabir? This is it. I'm gonna need it, No, I ain't gonna lie. That is sweet. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not on him no more. As the abstract you lost because of the power of friendship, my G. Galactus is wiping this man. Any notion of goodness is directly Galactus is wiping this Galactus one shot at Dark Side. What are we doing? Destroy 22% of the multiverse attack. Tank the Big Bang. Created Galvatron to be his hero. That's not even that crazy. Maybe in the comics that's crazy, but if we're talking about Galvatron from the movie, that's not. Humans made that man. So, I mean, it's not even that crazy. Absorb the supermassive black hole. Okay. I mean. Galactus, damn near, is more powerful than a black hole, so any black hole, so that really doesn't matter either. Took the inner universe with his blows. Galactus also almost destroyed the universe fighting somebody else, so that's not impressive either. Battle in the lines of Autobots, that's not crazy. I mean, Galactus fights almost the whole Marvel Universe multiple times, many different places. That's not that crazy. So, um, defeated. Primer, Megatron, Anti Matrix, Primus. Us, but despite the best hey, efforts of heroic tragedy like, like Optimus Prime, Unicron has always returned from the smoldering ashes of defeat and risen to threaten reality again. It's his very nature. Such as the time a united armada of Autobots, Decepticons, and an entire people created oh, yo, everybody the came. Minicons tried to destroy him once and for all. They actually succeeded in killing him until Galvatron's hatred for Optimus brought Unicron back to life. Because challenging what? Unicron means challenging evil itself, destroying destruction itself. Oh, an impossible paradox. You can't. Well, he may win. Because to be him, we gotta destroy all evil. It's not. He may win. I don't know. Kill Unicron, it's actually, I don't know. Killing is literally what Unicron is. I don't know enough so, about Unicron. What does that mean for us? Every really, I gotta rob a guy like violence, every war, every cruelty. We'll bring him back. We'll bring him back. Gives Unicron life, the life he'll use to kill us all. We are culpable in our own so him, annihilation. I don't know. Unicron's not just some comic book villain. But he's all there is. The like is also be. the embodiment the of good and, and evil. He'll be there at the end. He's a law of physics. He's as inevitable as your dying breath. Jesus, now you got me scared. I don't know who. This episode of Death Battle is hey man, by drop it down below. Who you got? Right now, go down below. Who do you have winning? And then right under it, tell me if you got it right, man. I don't know, bro. I'm riding with Galactus, but Unicron is low-key starting to scare me. At some points, I feel like he was a little B. And at some points, I feel like he's a demon. I don't know, bro. I death battle. That's called synergy, right, Wiz? By popular demand, Death Battle the Game is finally back and available for pre-order huh? this December. Ever wanted to live out your very own Death Battle with you as the combatant? Of Death Battle, y'all made it too Death crazy. Battle the Game is a fast-paced head-to-head card and dice game where players, well, oh, battle hard. to the death. Are you deadly enough to win a Death I Battle? Say. The first player to eliminate all of their opponent's cards wins. Who will be the last one standing? With 100 weapon, armor, and skill cards, Ooh. there are tons of options for characters creation oh and who could forget 50 okay man with your we gotta get to all right the combatants are set hey man the data through all possibilities it's time. like michael buffer do man for the death battle you've been asking i don't know bro i'm not gonna like this i'm not gonna go like please go like this you holding it down for marvel yo this this yeah that's all i'm saying this shit don't matter i'm gonna eat that shit Well, that's one planet. Hey, Galactus. Yeah, we said the over under and five. Be gone. Thus decrees Unicron Chaos Bringer. Damn. Did he destroy a planet? We're gonna say that's one. Oh shit. Oh, 
Oh, that's definitely madness. So quick to pay for oblivion. Them boys hitting. Physical, physical stuff don't hurt my man though. That don't hurt. That doesn't affect me. Oh, we already hit five. Well, if you bet the over, it's just like when you. This is like when you bet the under on step threes or something. Amen. And they go. They already hit the over in the first quarter, man. Sorry, man. First minute they already hit the over, man. They destroying sons at this point. We should have put it like seventeen. This is crazy, bro. He just forced this. What the fuck? I, I can't even fathom what's going on right now, bro. Them boys throwing though. He just throwing. He, he's not doing that though. He's don't hurt each other. Oh, he made his weapon. The light is moving knocky, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, come on. He's, he's cosmic energy. Yeah, yeah, like, you're not doing it. That does not affect me. Fleeing so readily, Unicron. No devourer. Transforming. Um, beg not for mercy. Um, the like this against my chaos. Go like this, please. Please, you got the marble on your back. They already then got Jonathan Majors. Please, Galactus, please. Please. What the fuck is he gonna do? Galactus, can't you make yourself bigger? Galactus. Let's just say, yeah. Let's box, Galactus. Come on. Come on. Destruction pure finality in first and last to immortality. That's not affecting. I have no patience. Galactus, like, he make you look like a bitch right now. I was gonna say, where's the little small shit? Flick it. You know not the power which you command. Of course I do. Your death I thus demand. But he is dead. That doesn't matter. I have won. No, you didn't. He is that game. Are you stupid? Come on. It's over. It's over. Transformer fans, man. It's a good fight, man. Gotta clap it up for you. I ain't gonna lie. Gotta clap it up. Man. Like, fam. You gotta get somebody like the one above all to rock with this, man. You understand, like, he's totally different, right? Totally. Thou hast the power of the Lord. Yo, who are these two weak? Yo, who are these two weak? Just because he's a munch. Just because he's a munch. No the biggest munch in history. Manipulate reality itself and do basically Fact, any yes. older than the universe. Let's go like that. They had each other matched in a lot of ways. So it ultimately came down to These boys did over in two minutes. Powerful. Not even two minutes. Then it's just like. Infinite multiverse. But Unicron could only do so over time. Devouring them one by one. While Galactus is battle with the Sprayer and the other threatened to destroy the entire. Yeah, that's what I said. I told you. I told you earlier. I told you. When he said the blow shit, and he was like, yeah, they blows. Over time, it did it. I was like, but Galactus almost did it just fighting one person. I said it in the react. You can go back and look. I said it. If you skip, you can go back. I literally said that's going to be the reason. Beings like himself all the time. While Unicron is usually the top dog in Transformers, he's a big fish in a relatively it's a small pond. Yeah. Relative to Marvel, at least. That might sound better for Unicron at first, but it means he has way less experience than Galactus in full-on fights against dudes his size. And while Unicron has used Dark Energon to infect and... It doesn't affect, bro. Past, 
Galactus technically doesn't have a soul thanks That's to his cosmic saying. rebirth from Galen. And he's fended off mental attacks before, so there's no real reason to think that would work here. And as lame as it is, the ultimate nullifier is just really, really overpowered. OD. It's Despite OD, Unicron bro. being able to survive the destruction of his spark, the ultimate nullifier is significantly more thorough. Mm. Consider the time it was used against Abraxas, a being that embodied the abstract concept of the multiverse's destruction. Hmm. Sounds like somebody Sound you know? like, yeah, Even against like, someone like that, the good old Oli Nulli had no problem erasing Similar him. reality warping power is much tougher and much powerful. Ultimate Nullfire destroys this corrupt cosmic. Nearly impossible to conceal, kill traditionally, but cannot resist the ultimate nullifier. We get in a sedated galactic. Harder to regenerate body. And from reality, and the same would happen to Let's you. Let's go, Galactus. Galactus. Marvel needed a dub, man. Dimension, been taking a bunch just of Just as he escaped the nullifier before, Unicron was an insanely terrifying threat. But Galactus had the power, experience, and arsenal to ultimately. Let's go, Galactus. Him. If you thought Galactus was going down in this fight, you were Unicron. I did. The one nice. is Galactus. The destroyer. Of Season 10's done, but season 11. Hey man, let me know who, who did y'all have. Did y'all have? That, that looked like a good one. I haven't seen either of these. Let me know if y'all want to go watch some old ones if y'all do. This is good though. I fuck with this, man. I fuck with this. Oh my good this for the W. Clap it up, man. Clap it up. Clap it up. This is a good one, baby. Let me know what I think, bro. I love y'all, boys. Let me know who y'all have winning. Do y'all think Unicorns are the one? If you do, put it down below. I love y'all, boys, man. I'm oh.